Hey, hey everyone. Today I wanna to show you a really easy way to dynamically sort charts in Excel. For example, on the screen, we've got a very typical display of salespeople and their sales commissions for the year. And when you create a chart in Excel, it usually comes up in this way. Just displays exactly what's in the table in the same order. But what some people like to do and what I personally like to do is just have a little bit more of a visually pleasing display by sorting those sales commissions from highest to lowest. And I want this to be dynamic. So if things change in this table, it's automatically gonna update the chart on the right-hand side. So for example, we've got Clara Bennett here. And if we change her sales value from 50,000 to say 1.2 million, she'd now be the highest salesperson in that list. On the original chart, it will change, it'll update, but it won't change the order and it won't do anything else dynamic. But on the right-hand side of the chart, she'll also be allocated that 1.2 million in sales but it's gonna resort this chart and bring Clara to the top of the list. So let's press enter there. And you can see that's done. It's resorted, it's dynamically sorted this chart on the right hand side. So it's a really simple process and I just wanna show you how to do this in a couple of easy steps. So let's delete these charts and I'll show you what to do. So I'm just going to create a new table. Copy, paste, just make these a little bit wider. And now I'm going to use the sort function. Very easy function to use. Equals sort, open brackets. Now what am I sorting? I'm sorting this table here. So I've selected the cells that I want to sort. Press comma. The sort index is which column am I sorting? Now in this instance there's only two columns. So I'm going to sort the second column. Column number two. Comma. And the sort order. If I type in one, it's going to sort it by smallest to largest. If I type in negative one, it's going to sort by largest to smallest. So let's type in negative one and press enter. And now you can see that the sales values are sorted in order highest to lowest. Now, if I create this chart now, typically what I'd usually do is I'd select the cell range, insert, go up to charts, and I'm just going to select the first one, which is a 2D column chart. And you can see that it's sorted in order as per the original table. But we wanted that dynamic chart. When we changed Clara Bennett to 1.2, it brought her to the top. And if we change Camilla to 1.3 million, it now would bring her to the top, which is done in this table, but it didn't do in that chart. So instead of referencing that original table, all I'm simply going to do is reference this new table, which dynamically sorts the data. Insert, go up to charts. Just gonna select the same chart. And you can see now that's referencing that new table range with Camilla at the top and Clara at number two. So hopefully that was helpful. It's a really simple one. See you next time.